Should we as women over 50 be taking collagen peptides for our skin, hair and nails? Well, there is some evidence that the peptides survive digestion and make it intact into our bloodstream. And there's also some evidence that they can attach to fibroblasts, they're the cells that make collagen, and stimulate them to make more collagen. But that's in a petri dish, not an actual human. Now, when it comes to the actual physical changes in the skin, the things you can see and measure, like moisture levels, elasticity and wrinkles, well, there's been lots of small studies done. And in September 2025, they were combined into a meta-analysis. That's a study that takes the results of lots of smaller studies and combines them to give an overall result. Now, these showed an overall benefit, but then the authors did something clever. They did a couple of sub-analyses. And firstly, they looked at whether the study had been sponsored by the collagen industry. And they found that if it had, then the result was positive. But in the independent studies, there were no benefits seen on skin appearance. They also looked at study quality and only the low quality studies showed a benefit from taking collagen. The high quality studies, again, showed no improvements. Now, there's zero evidence that it helps with hair growth and just one study looking at nails. It was a really small study, only 25 people. So currently, no, there is no good evidence that collagen has anti-aging benefits. So in terms of its ability as a protein, well, it's an incomplete protein. It's missing a couple of key amino acids, including leucine, which is used for muscle repair and growth. You get more bang for your protein buck from things like lean meat, eggs, soya and whey.